Hey everybody, Rick here with Departure Heaven. Today's date is the 14th of June, folks. I can't believe we're almost in the middle of June. The time is going so fast right now. Folks, there's a reason why the time is moving fast, but the Bible says it will go fast during the tribulation. I believe it says somewhere in the Bible, during the tribulation, God will speed up the days. If he didn't do it, then no people would survive. A lot more would die. Go look it up. I'm sorry I didn't have it ready. But right now, folks, time is short to be messing around. We need to be about the Lord's business, hitting the pavement hard right now. Because right now, any day, the rapture of the church can take us home at any moment. That is how close we are, folks. We're not three, four months away from the rapture. I just get this feeling when I was out today in my car just thinking about it, that all these people that are in their cars, millions of people are going to, billions, well, depends how many people are saved in this world. Majority of the world is not saved, okay? That these poor people are going to suffer a lot of fatalities and accidents because the drivers of the cars that are saved when they get on the ark Whatever you want to call it, Flight 777, that's, it's ready to board at any moment. We have our ticket in hand. Those cars will be, no driver will be in the driver's seat. And you know how fast cars go today. They go fast. They, they, they do 65, 70 on the street out here that I go out almost. Because the time is speeding up so fast that literally they have to get to point A to point B. They have to step on it to get there to keep up with time. I've noticed the uptick in speed over the past four years as time gradually speeds up. Now this video is not all about time speeding up, but I just wanted to bring it up because I can't believe it's the 14th already, folks, okay? And it just blows me away that we're in the middle of the year of 2024, which could be the last year that we might be on this earth, the year that we go home, folks, okay? And, uh, you know, Jesus Christ, he didn't die for nothing, folks. He died for you and me and for the whole world. God loved the whole world, folks, that he gave his own son to die on the cross for our sins, folks. Okay? It's a simple. He made it very simple. There's no price tag. You don't have to pay any money. It's a free gift from God, folks, to get saved. Why would you want to pass up? On eternity of paradise that waits for us up there, folks. We're not going to be in these bodies no more, folks. This raggedy old body I'm in, it's gone in a twinkle in one millionth of a second, folks. Okay? I could be sitting here in this video and the rapture takes place. You're going to see me disappear. My headphones are going to drop and my shirt's going to drop. The body will be gone. That's how imminent the rapture is right now, folks. I am beyond almost excited. I am, I'm beyond excited. I'm really excited because everything we're seeing right now, and I don't want to see nuclear war. I don't want to see war. I like peace, of course. But it means that we're going home, folks, because when we see the Russians on our doorstep in Florida and where I live at, basically, okay, they're a breath away from us right now, folks. They're right down there by the Cuba, 90 miles from, well, yeah. And off the Melbourne coast, I believe there was a submarine. I don't know where it's at now, okay? They might have their transponder off, who knows, okay? Now, folks, why? Why would you want to sit around and do nothing right now? Now, there's a lot of people prepping, like preppers online, that they're telling you, please be ready prep, food, water. That's great and all. That's great. Much respects for those people, okay? And the majority of them are probably Christians, okay? I don't know who it is or not, but the ones that are not, and I know some that are not, they're prepping like crazy right now, folks. The point of me saying this about the prepping part is you don't need to prep for anything. God has got it already figured out for us Okay, Jesus said when he left, he says, I'm going to the Father's house. After he died and rose again on the third day, he was on the earth for some time, okay, 
went, you know, showing that he's back. You know, he showed his hand, the wound and everything, did all that stuff. And then he went to the father and then he said, when I come back, it's going to be for my own people. Okay, first, which will be the rapture. When he comes back, the second coming, 2031, I believe it will be, that he will set up his millennial kingdom here on this earth. But he's going to go up there. He's going to take us to a beautiful place that he's prepared for us, folks. He said, I'll go and prepare a place for you, okay? That place, folks, is heaven. It's a, Kevin's, heaven is the capital of our universe, folks, okay? It's the heaven is the capital of our universe. It's where God resides at. Our creator, the one that created us, he did all this, okay? Need proof that he's real? Look at yourself in the mirror, now, I'm not talking about your fat gut or anything like that. No, I'm talking about you standing there. Okay, all the proof is there. I mean, we see light better than a camera does. You don't get that from a just flesh. Okay, there is somebody that did this supernaturally. There is an intelligent design in our bodies. Okay, we have eyes so we can see where we're going. We have ears so we can hear. We have speak for communication. Our hands, they're rough on this side so they don't lose grip. Who thought of all that? It's like the schematics of a car. When you when your car is being built, it has blueprints. Everything had to be put in the right place for it to serve its function, folks. We didn't just come randomly, okay, from an explosion. Our bodies didn't just come randomly out of the ground from some cell. No. We were created and placed here by God, folks. Okay? And uh, that proof is right there if you need it. And more proof that Jesus is real and God is real. A lot of testimonial videos out there on YouTube, chuck full of them. People saying that they used to be what they used to be, coming out of a trash lifestyle of sin. Immediately when they get saved, folks, they start to feel bad about their sins. A lot of other religions don't do that, folks. Only Jesus Christ does that. That's how you know it's real, authentic. That's how you know he's real, okay? Folks, I have never seen the war like this until this year. The eclipse, solar eclipse over the United States, ever since that eclipse, all this has taken place. And I know it drew an X over the United States. Maybe because this country is going to get hit by a sneak attack by Russia. And lo and behold, all of a sudden they're down there. 90 miles from Florida in Cuba. Talk about the Cuban Missile Crisis 2.0 on steroids. It'll make that look like a picnic day, folks. Anyways, we're prepared, folks, because I'm already waiting. We're all watching and waiting for the Lord's return. Every day, I'm out here looking at the news, getting ready, folks, that the Lord could come for His church. Okay, this is a time to be at the Lord's business, folks. Okay, now, you know, just a quick cap on the news. I'm not going to take long with it, but I just want you to see this, folks. This is just a sample of the news. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go to it. Okay, um, okay, hold on a second here. This is from War News 24 7, very good site to go to. Limited nuclear conflict with Russia. Okay, U.S. shifts doctrine to respond to Moscow. NATO convinces nuclear planning group. They will place nukes in Poland and Sweden. I have never seen this type of buildup, folks. Folks, get ready. This 4th of July, we may just get more than fireworks this 4th of July. The skies are going to light up. And our bodies are going to light up at the same time, folks. I believe once before those buttons are pressed... And they burn those keys. And before these missiles come out of the ground, the rapture is going to take place just like that, folks. It's going to be a quick event. Now, me and Bob did entertain the thought that the rapture is so quick, it's one millionth of a second, that that flash is one millionth of a second. You know, it's a quick flash. Maybe not, maybe not one millionth of a second, but that the rapture, we are snatched up by the Harpazzo, folks. And if you look up Harpazzo, it means to be snatched by force. You know, when when a, if you're someone's walking across the road and they see a, and you see a speeding car, 
and you have a chance to save that person, you will run and snatch that person by force out of harm's way. Basically what the Lord is going to do when those missiles take off out of the ground, the water, and we're seeing it right now, folks, the preparation for this. Folks, how close can we be, okay? If this is all happening at breakneck speed, how close can we be, okay? I don't know about you folks, but I keep getting this feeling all day that I feel like the rapture could be in the next couple days to a week. I don't know why I'm getting this signal, okay? I've had dreams, of course, in the past about nuclear wars. I haven't been having them lately, okay? It doesn't mean we're all going to get them, okay? But we will get dreams. God will down, put a download in your head, and you will hear or see in your dream what God is trying to you know, communicate to you because he's using me and other watchmen and watchwomen on YouTube. We're all assembled together on YouTube. He is, he, the Holy Spirit and God has gathered all of us on YouTube to keep delivering the message on a daily basis. He's using us. He said, look, key people, get ready. Tell others that I am coming for my church. Folks, we're out of here. Our work is finished. I mean, it's quickly done. You cannot do no more on this earth. Our work is finished. Everything is set in stone. When you get there, your rewards are final. Okay? Let me just quickly read some of this. NATO Nuclear Planning Group is convinced by General Secretary of uh, Alliance G. Stoltenberg after the developments in nuclear field with Moscow. Okay? Okay, uh, you know... Let me see here. The mushroom pickers, people calling the nuclear escalation against the West. <laughs> Someone is in, uh, instigating a nuclear mushroom. The season for mushrooms has come. <laughs> wow. Watch this video. Let me see what this video is all about. On the front page of the weekly Sovietnik, is someone igniting a nuclear mushroom cloud? Mushroom on the front page of the weekly Sabisiednik is someone igniting a nuclear mushroom cloud. Mushroom season declared open. The hawks are firing things up. Inside this article, mushroom pickers, to whom is a nuclear mushroom cloud desirable? Here's your useful guide to Russia's top nuclear sabre rattlers. So here we have political scientist Dmitry Suslov. He has proposed carrying out a nuclear explosion for demonstration purposes on Russian territory. Suslov explained his chilling idea like this. Only fear of nuclear war, only seeing a nuclear mushroom cloud live on TV will stop Western politicians. Yeah, I'm going to stop the video there due to this time of this video, but it, it says in this video it will be live on TV. You know what will be live on TV, folks? It's the rapture of the church, okay? Now here's another alarming article, okay? Look at this. That article disappeared. Hal Turner Radio Show, breaking news, U.S. sends Los Angeles class a fast attack submarine to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. You see this, folks? We're now going to go over there and counter them in case they make any moves. Like I said, it's going to start... I believe this war, Duke of the War, is going to pop off with a sneak attack on the United States or somewhere in Cuba where they may do it right there from that area. Who knows? There might be more subs on the way, folks. Okay? Folks, I don't think you get it. Okay? Those that don't understand what I'm saying, that we are ready, we are getting ready to be out of here so fast, folks. It's not even funny because the rapture is at hand. The Duke of the War is is at hand 10 years ago folks I made this prediction that when nothing about 10 years ago nothing was going on it was a, it was crickets it was just a little bit here a little bit there but nothing major it was very dead back then 2014 I remember saying it that I leaned back in my chair and I said God this we're gonna be on the edge of nuclear war when the rapture comes that's what it's going to take to get us out of here. It's got to be that bad. 
and there's going to be a bad economy at the same time, all kinds of civil unrest, and it may be time, I didn't say anything about an election time, but I did say there'll be a time of stress. And here it is, folks. It's happening 10 years later. Okay, folks, I wish I had it on video, me talking about it. But I can't think of anything worse, folks, that can happen, that can trigger the rapture. A thermonuclear war is like the end of the world almost, folks. It can end this world if enough of those come out of the ground. If Russia unloaded its whole entire nuclear arsenal on the on the world, that's about 6,500 warheads, plus the stuff they, plus warheads they got in their submarines, that alone would kill off the entire world's population. Except for the people that are deep underground. But when they come up, they're going to see a world that's in total ruins. The, the radiation will be all over the place for, for 50 years. The air will be breathable after, I think, after three weeks. But there'll be nothing left. That person will starve to death. Because all animal life will be killed off. It'll just be utter ruins, okay? Okay, if you can salvage up canned foods that are everywhere, which will all be gone, probably. Be my guest, folks. But, you know, that's that's the world we got to look forward to. Unless the Antichrist intervenes, folks. Right now, this war, this nuclear war, I don't see anybody making an effort to sit down and talk peace. It's like they don't want peace. They want war, okay? I don't see anybody talking about peace. I don't see any negotiations anywhere. Have you? Look around. Flip through the pages of the news. There's not one article that I can find. Oh, Putin and the president are going to sit down next week and talk peace. I haven't seen anything like that. Nobody wants to seem like they want to talk about peace. All you see is this escalation going on by the hour almost, folks. Okay? That's what we're seeing now. It is my belief that the Lord, our Father in Heaven, is leaving it up to the Antichrist. Let me say that again. Read my lips. The Antichrist. This is how this world war will end. It ends with the Antichrist. The reason why he can't come out and do it now, because we're the Holy Restrainer, folks. We are stopping him from coming out. The Holy Restrainer must be removed. That's us. When we go up... Then the Antichrist will come out. He will not spare any moment after the rapture. He'll immediately come out within 24 hours. He'll come to the world and say, Here I am, folks. I've got the solution to all this. And he will stop the war in 24 hours. Fast. Because he'll have Satan's power in him, folks. The devil will come to him and say, Look, you will be my man to do all this bidding for me on this earth. Okay? I will give you the whole world and all unlimited power and funds and money if you do this for me. Come on, he's not going to say no to that. Okay? And if God if God is had his hand in it, which he did, he's going to have to be the Antichrist regardless if he liked it or not. But Satan will dwell in him, activate him, as you want to call it. He will be activated by the devil. When the devil activates him, folks, that's it. He will be the Antichrist. No one knows who he is. Okay, you can answer, you can try to figure it out to your blue in the face, but you'll never get it. Okay, and I'm not going to come out here and make a fool out of myself and say, oh, this guy is the Antichrist. I'm not doing that. We've entertained the fact on some candidates you could do that, but don't say that person, the Antichrist. Right now, folks, we're waiting. We're waiting on the horn to blow. And I'm listening to all these people out there. They're all, it's confirmation. They're all thinking the same way. We're all thinking the same thing because the Holy Spirit is triggering those thoughts in our head. We're not having our minds handed over to, this, to the reprobate minds out there. People are out there, they're looking forward to tomorrow night to go downtown and party or go to the nightclubs. They don't have a single clue what's going on, folks. All they're thinking about is what, what clothes are they going to wear to the club tomorrow night? Uh, what's the plan, guys? What are we doing tonight? What car are we taking? And la di da what's gonna happen? What, what are we doing this weekend? And, you know, that's the life of a non believer, folks. Now, I'm sorry if that offends people that are watching this. Now, there is some Christians that do go out and do that, and it's it's backsliding. We're not supposed to go out and drink and hunt, for, and hunt down women to take home with us. Those days are gone, folks. I don't do that stuff anymore. I got saved. 
and I don't do that anymore. I live for the Lord Jesus Christ, folks. I live for him now. I don't do any of that stuff anymore. And we are the prey for all these people that are all about to go out tomorrow night. A majority, most of them were not saved if they're living that kind of lifestyle. There is no conviction of sin when they're out there partying up to loud club music and looking at women all night and sitting there trying to pick them up. There is no, you know, they're not feeling sorry for their sins. No, of course not. This Holy Spirit's not in them. But the ones that do have the Holy Spirit, you know, you feel guilty for your sins. Okay? That's how you know. If you don't feel anything, folks, then you that's a red flag. You're in dangerous grounds right now. There's something wrong. You better check yourself again. This video is getting long. It's 20 minutes long. Uh... I know that, uh, folks, if you want to send me an article, send it to DepartureHeaven at Yahoo.com if you want to send me an article, okay? And uh, we're about to depart from this earth. In other words, we're departure, ETA, one-tenth of a second, arrival, ETA, one-tenth of a second, uh, destination, heaven, the capital, God's kingdom, whatever you want to call it, the place he prepared for us. We're about to take up residence up there. So why prepare down here getting your canned goods and water ready? You don't have to take anything with us to heaven, folks. He's got it all figured out for you. All you got to do is believe in Christ, folks. Okay? Just believe in him. Accept him into your heart, folks. Okay? All you got to do is say, Jesus, I love you. I want you now to be my Lord and Savior. You died, for the, you died on the cross for my sins, washed away all my sins with your precious blood. Be the Lord of my life. Take guidance in my life. Guide me to do the right thing. Okay? Accept that he died on the cross and he rose again on the third day, folks. He did it all for you. The, you say that prayer, you truly mean it like you see me sitting here. All with all your heart. God will send you the Holy Spirit immediately, folks. And you are now a part of the family of God's children. You're part of the kingdom. The kingdom is in our hearts, folks. The law is written on our hearts, okay? We are, then you're, you are now ready, rapture ready, okay, to be raptured. Your feet will leave the ground when he blows that trumpet, which I, I can almost hear it. That's how close it is, okay? Folks, if you haven't subscribed, to this channel, it takes two seconds. Smash the like button to help the YouTube algorithm. By that, it gets our videos out there more visible. So you're taking this to someone that doesn't know the Lord. Okay? Time now, folks. This is the time to get excited, folks. I have never been this excited on fire for the Lord because seeing what I'm seeing in the news on a daily or almost hourly basis is making me excited because I know the Lord is getting ready to snatch his church out of here. Now, I know I sound like a broken record, but I love repeating myself when it comes to the rapture. I don't know about you, but we this may be our last words today. We may not be here tomorrow, okay? And you're not guaranteeing your last breath either. So if you're watching this channel and you're not sure, like I said, do what I just told you. Get saved by Jesus Christ. Believe in him with all your heart. He will save you right there on the spot. It's free of charge. He doesn't charge. It's a free gift from God. You'll be rapture ready. You'll be guaranteed to go to heaven if something were to happen to you. God forbid. Jesus saves, folks. Okay? God doesn't want any man to perish. Okay? He doesn't want to see anybody perish. Okay? This time that's coming, like I said before, you have nothing to worry about, folks. I'm not worried one bit about this nuclear wars. I know how it ends. Okay? I don't I guarantee you not one missile will come out of the ground. The rapture will take place before that happens. That's how close it's gonna be. If we're already seeing this, how how close can the rapture be? 2024, folks, 25 to 31 of 2031 is seven years, folks. It's surely looking like God is going by 2031. Now, if we were sitting around and nothing was going on in the news, and it looked like the year 2019 before the COVID, uh, before the whole era with the with the viruses and all that hit and the lockdowns and all that, 
You remember that year just before it all happened? It was 2019. Everything was this hunky-dory. Everything was normal. There wasn't any wars really going on. You know, if that's what 24 looks like, then I'd be okay. Maybe he's not coming for a while. He's not going by the next seven years of 2031. But I told myself that the year that he picks to go and takes us home, we're going to be at war almost at the moment they press the buttons. And that will be the year that we go home. And look, 2024 is doing it, folks. I am excited, folks. All right, guys. Sorry about the long video. These should serve as words of encouragement for you, folks. Pass this video along, folks, to everybody, okay? Share this video out to everybody, folks, okay? Don't play with time. We're on borrowed time right now, folks. You know, God is, right now, he knows we're counting down to September, folks. September, the feast holidays. I believe that is the next major rapture window that's going to open up. Even though it's imminent still, it can happen now. But the biggest time that could happen is during the feast holidays, September. Now, one guy got on here and said that, it was a war analyst, and he said that 90 days that the nuclear war will happen, the missiles come out of the ground. Well, uh, 90 days... 30 days in a month, folks. Three months from now, you count July, August, September. It's got it right, right on there. Right on the mark, almost. All right, guys. I love you. God bless you, folks. Let's, let's get busy for the Lord. I will talk to you all later. Love you all. Blessings to you, folks. Take care.